Oh, now then, my friends, as you can probably tell, I am in New York City, and today I've got a surprise for you. In fact, it should be a surprise for everyone, because we're going to head over towards Central Park. There is a hotel called the Thompson, and inside it is a secret burger joint behind a red curtain that nobody knows about. Well, they probably do, because it's probably all over the internet. However, it is a secret burger joint and not many people know about it. In fact, if you do know about it, pop it in the comment section down below. Uh, and if you don't know about it, then you will do shortly because we're going to have a wander over there. I'm going to show you a few sites along the way because obviously this is the greatest city in the world. Uh, and rather than just show you a burger, I thought we'll have a wander up there, show you a few sites along the way. If you're new to the channel, by the way, do hit the subscribe button, click the little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos. Also, if you do like the video, hit the thumbs up. None of it costs you a penny. Subscription is free, thumbs up free everything's free apart from to me because I have to buy the burger but anyway uh, at least I'm hungry anyway without further ado my friends let's go I've said it before, I'll say it again, I love this city. It is my favourite city literally anywhere in the world. It's just gritty, it's real, it's literally like you see it on the TV. And I tell you, do not wait around on these sidewalks here because if you dilly-dally, they'll be telling you to move. There's, everybody's in a hurry, everyone's trying to get somewhere. There's horns all the time, people pipping the horns, get out of the way, come on. It literally is crazy, I just love it. There's an electricity about it, it's fantastic. And I tell you what, walking there is working up an appetite for this burger. I just hope it's good. We're gonna mark it out of 10. Don't forget, I want you guys to mark it out of 10 as well on looks alone. And, uh, God, come on, I'm starving. Let's keep going. Right, here we are at the Thompson Hotel, right near uh, Central Park. I'll put all the details in the description down below, so it won't be so secret anymore, will it? So apparently it's in here, uh, and it's behind a red curtain or something, and the only way that you can identify it is by a neon burger. So, come on, let's go in. Right, okay, so here we are inside the Thompson Hotel. So down the side of here, you'll see a little uh, neon burger and it's behind these red curtains. So let's go in. I'm hoping this is a really good burger, come on. Oh, yeah, can I get a cheeseburger with the works, please? Uh, and uh, a uh, Diet Coke uh, as well, please. Uh, yeah, fries as well, thank you. That's great. Uh, regular fries, thank you. 23 Can I get the receipt as well? Thank you.
right, okay, so we've got the goods here. We're gonna take a closer look at it. Uh, there is music playing, so we're gonna sum this up outside, mark it out of 10 uh, outside and go through it there. But take a closer look first, my friends, looking forward to this. Right, my friends, as I said, there is music playing, so I'm just going to dig into this and uh, we're going to mark it out of 10 outside. So I'll see you guys in a minute, but it looks great. And there is a mound of fries, enough to feed a small army. Right, okay, so let's get down to business then. I've got to tell you, that was a fantastic burger. I've taken some notes, as I say, there was music playing in there. Uh, so I've got some notes here. First of all, the cost, uh, it cost me 23.50. Uh, it does say online somewhere that it is cash only. However, they do have contactless payment now. So uh, I'm presuming that they've changed that uh, since the current situations. Uh, anyway, it came to 23.50. I gave them 25, uh, including a tip. Um, I paid cash for it because I drew it out thinking it was cash only, but it isn't now. So that's something to note. Um, right, first of all, really really fresh bun absolutely it's a, it's a, it was just perfect absolutely perfect um there's nothing worse it can ruin a good burger having a stale bun or one that's just on the turn it's not what you want um so that's great the lettuce i've never had lettuce so crispy it crunched when i ate it it was unbelievable so fresh um, the tomato itself a nice tasty beef steak tomato that's how it should be. None of them tiny little tomatoes on there. A proper beefsteak tomato. Uh, fresh onion in there as well. Uh, gave it a little bit of a kick. Now the cheese itself as well, I have to say, normally I always say American cheese is like eating plastic, melted plastic, but that cheese was nice and it had a nice tang to it as well. You've got pickles in there, which were nice and crisp and fresh. The sauce was bursting with flavor. I don't know what sauce they use. Uh, if you know, pop it in the comment section down below. Um, the meat, I know, was medium rare now by the looks of it. Now, I personally would have had it medium to well. The Americans tend to have meat medium rare, which is supposedly how you're supposed to have it. However, you can ask for it to be cooked any way you want and they will do that. I didn't, uh, so that's my mistake. However, it was bursting with flavor. The meat was tender, it's how it should be. Um, the fries as well, lightly salted, very nice fries. Way too many fries for me, enough to feed a small army of soldiers. Uh, however, if they didn't give you enough and they didn't give you that many, some people would moan, so I guess they can't really win. Um, I'd just say just tone the fries down a bit, there's, there's loads. Um, 
for me, it, it was absolutely fantastic. I love the whole concept of it. I love the, the, how the walls have got all graffiti on it and stickers and people go in there and stick things to the wall. From a videographer's point of view, it's great for B-roll. Uh, it's, it's interesting to read them as well. Um, I'm going to say, I thoroughly enjoyed it. And if you do go in there, ask for a cheeseburger or a hamburger, ask for it with the works on it. That's what I did. I asked for it for the works and I got everything on it. You'll basically get it fully loaded. Um, I thought that was one of, if not the best burger that I have tasted in the US. Uh, I have to give it that. It, it, it's fantastic I loved it highly recommend it a hidden gem literally a hidden gem inside the Thompson Hotel the burger joint behind that red curtain to the left and uh, head in there fantastic I love it I went in at 11 uh, in the morning or about 20 past 11 uh, I'm guessing it, the secret is out now and or if it isn't keep it a secret tell me if you've been as well uh, and if you've not and you're visiting New York I highly recommend it 100 percent Put that on your list of things to do in New York City, and I will pop the description. Uh, I'll pop the description and all the details in the description down below, my friends. Anyway, that's all from me today. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button. It's free. Can you can you hear me up there? It's free. And also hit that thumbs up as well. That's free as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. I didn't mark it, did I? I didn't give it a score, I don't think. I can't remember. Anyway, it's a 10. It, it's knocked it out of the ballpark. Higher than a 10. Absolutely amazing. Can I, can I go now? See you.